The city called the Gateway to the West became the Gateway to the Best following the 1998 NFL season when the St. Louis Rams acquired Marshall Falk. The Edward Jones Dome became the big top for the greatest show on turf, with ringmaster Kurt Warner leading the Rams. Rams fans got more than a sideshow when Falk joined the team. Marshall's got it inside the 15. What a move. Breaks the tackle inside the 10. Five. Touchdown, Marshall Falk. He's amazing. Wow. This innovative performer took the running back position to the center stage as he set an NFL record during his first Rams campaign with 2,429 yards from scrimmage. This guy is something, man. He is really something. Falk's accomplishments were performed with style, flair, and balance as he earned the spotlight with over 1,000 yards both rushing and receiving. His receiving mark set a new standard for running backs. Water on play action, stands in, fires the slant. Marshall Falk's got it, breaks the tackle. 20 to the 10, 5, and he, he is got it. in. Yeah. Touchdown, Marshall Falk, <laughs> a 65-yard catch and run. Elite players elevate their team to do great things, and Marshall's contributions helped take the Rams to the biggest stage in sports, Super Bowl 34. Falk's five receptions for 90 yards played a major role in the Rams' victory over the Tennessee Titans. The Super season ends with a Super Bowl victory for the Rams. The St. Louis Rams are the world champions. He was named the NFL Offensive Player of the Year and was a starter for the NFC in the 1999 Pro Bowl. Marshall Falk, lone running back. This is Marshall. And a Marshall Falk touchdown. Another touchdown for the St. Louis Rams. Falk continued to dazzle opponents with his quick feet and soft hands. During his 2000 MVP season, he put up numbers too big for even the big top. Marshall's 26 touchdowns set an NFL record, and he was voted the NFL Offensive Player of the Year for the third time. There they go. And they just performed they the go. bob and weave. I love it. As promised. I love it. Falk continued to be a crowd pleaser in St. Louis, and when he took his final bow, he was the only player in NFL history to have 12,000 yards rushing and 6,000 yards receiving. His marquee accomplishments earned him a first ballot Hall of Fame ticket. Marshall was inducted in the class of 2011.